Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Poliwhirl for Pokemon. So this character has basically got a round body and it's got two eyes that sort of protrude outside of the head on the top. So we're going to start with the eyes first. So with the one on the left, we're going to start with a circle. Starting from the top, we'll work our way to the bottom and then back up to the top again. And then up on the top left here, we're just going to draw a smaller circle for the highlights. So we're just imagining the light coming down in this direction, hitting that side of the eye. We're going to color everything on the outside black. Okay, from here I'm going to circle around that eye, just around, leaving a little bit of gap evenly all the way around. So it's basically like another circle just around there. Okay, from this point we're going to move over to the right side and draw the exact same thing. So we want to make sure we get the same height for the black inside, and then we'll work our way around to the bottom and back up to the top. We'll draw that highlight circle on the top left corner, and we'll color everything in black. And then again from here, we're just going to circle around this with a slightly larger circle, starting from the top, working our way to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. Okay, from here there's these two big bulgy eyes, so we're going to draw the flesh around the eye. So we're going to imagine a circle going around this way, it's sort of hitting halfway through the eyes. So on the left side of this eye, we're just going to draw a curve, it sort of circles halfway around that eye. We'll go over to the right side and draw the same thing just circling around the eye on the right. From here we're going to connect the eyes between here, but we're going to go slightly higher and just do an overlap. So the eyes actually overlap on top of the body. From here we're going to curve around and draw the body as a circle, but up here we're going to have to connect the arms. So up here we're going to move up a little bit and just draw a curve going out towards the left. And up here we've got a little overlap here, so on the right We'll do the same thing, do a little overlap on the right. From here we're going to draw the inner part of the arms. But before we do that, we're just going to draw the cuff. So up here we're going to do an overlap, and just draw a curve. We're going to come in a little bit on the right side and just draw the inside part of the arm. So it's sort of following that same outer part of the arm here. Do the same thing on the right side. So drawing the curve, doing an overlap, and curving up the inside part of the arm. Now from here we're going to go underneath the armpits and draw the bottom part of the body. So this is basically a circle. We're just completing the circle for the body. So we're going to draw that down to about here where my finger is. So we're going to come in underneath the armpit and curve around aiming towards my finger. Now we're going to have to stop right about here because we're going to have to layer in the legs underneath here. So we're going to go over to the right and draw the same thing. So curving around aiming towards my finger. Now here we're going to leave a little gap, but we're going to complete the circle at the bottom. Just leave a gap like that. Now we're going to draw in some legs. So right here, I'm going to go back up, draw an angled line going out. On the bottom here, we're going to come in and draw an angled line here. So you can see it's sort of overlapping the legs. Do the same thing on the right side. So two angled lines going outwards, so we've got a little overlap. Before we finish the legs, let's get up to the arms again and finish these hands off. So the hands, they're basically wearing gloves, and we're just going to wrap a basic mitten-style hand in here. So up here, on the inside of the hand, we're just going to circle around that line. From this point, I'm just going to draw a little bulge for the thumb. On this side here, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to curve around that cuff, and from here, we're just going to circle around and tuck this in underneath the thumb. So from this point, we're just basically doing a circle going in and tucking in underneath. Kind of looks like boxing gloves. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So up here we're going to draw that curve around that cuff. Do the same thing on the outside. Now from here we're going to draw that bulge for the thumb. And all we need to do is from here to here just draw a curve, almost like a circle going all the way around. Just like that. Now let's get back into the feet. So from these points I'm just going to curve down and in for the inside part of the foot, we're going to curve the bottom part of the foot from here to the toe, draw a basic curve, and then from the toe to the inside part of the ankle, we'll just draw a curve in the opposite direction. Let's go to the right side and finish that off. So we're going to draw that same span, go 
from the bottom of the foot and then curve up to the top right there. Now the final detail is that little spiral that goes around or that swirl that goes around the body. So we're going to have to basically draw a circle. Starting from the top, curve down. We're going to leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom here. Starting right up here, circling around. We're going to try to create a nice even circle all the way around. Just like this. And then from here, we're going to draw in some nostrils. So two angle lines coming in, in between the eyes, just simply like that. Now the fun part is just drawing that swirl. It doesn't really matter if you match exactly how I do it. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way inwards. Starting from the bottom, curl around. And you can see I'm using my whole entire arm to do this. I'm not just using my wrist. I'm just letting my hand glide over the page and then right back in like that. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Poliwhirl from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe, tell your friends about us. Thanks for your support and we'll see you again tomorrow.